How does a bus fit on the same lane as a car? If you've ever been cruising down the streets of Portland, you might find yourself alongside a bus and wonder, how on earth does a vehicle that size share a lane with my Subaru? It's a fair question. To the naked eye, it's like trying to fit an elephant onto a twin-sized mattress. But believe it or not, the system works, most of the time. Here's how. The secret lies in the planning and design of roads. From an urban planning perspective, the width of traffic lanes is a carefully calculated element of city infrastructure. In the U.S., a standard lane is about 9 to 10 feet wide. Standard buses can be anywhere from 8 to 9 feet wide, and many carry those cute little mirrors that stick out and give the illusion of an even beefier vehicle. This doesn't leave a ton of room for error, hence why bus drivers are, and had better be, skilled operators with serious experience under their belts. They've got the precision of a surgeon, maneuvering these hulking hunks of metal through the tight arteries of city streets, ensuring they don't accidentally swipe your car's paint job with the gentle caress of a steel bumper. Moreover, local transit authorities often play a numbers game, considering the volume of both buses and private vehicles. In cities like Portland, with narrower roads, sometimes you'll see lanes that are specifically wider to accommodate buses, trams, or emergency vehicles. Sure, it means that when you're driving your car and there's no bus present, you've got room to swing your elbows. But the moment a bus appears on the horizon, that lane basically becomes theirs. Now, another thing that adds to this dance between David and Goliath on the roads is the fact that buses have to abide by stringent safety standards. So, they can't exactly go fast and furious cuts through traffic. These mobile behemoths lumber along at controlled speeds, allowing for safe operation in tight spaces. Additionally, buses and cars rarely travel side by side within the same lane. Bus drivers tend to stick to the rightmost lanes or specifically designated bus lanes, and they only merge into traffic lanes when necessary, such as when making a turn or navigating around an obstacle. Ultimately, the fact that buses and cars can harmoniously coexist on the same roads comes down to laws, road design, driver skill, and a general adherence to rules and courtesy. Next time you're driving down Burnside Street and see a bus sliding into your lane like a text message into your DMs, Remember that there's a method to the madness. And who knows, perhaps it's an unspoken urban ballet, where every pirouette and ply is a lane change and every grand jeté a safe merge. Or maybe it's just really good driving.